Hey, what's up? This is GP Sending Five Motorsports here, and welcome back to another Skyrim video. Um, we are picking up pretty much immediately where we left off in the previous part of uh, Quest for the Crown, uh, in which we began exploring this awesome cave system and um, had quite an awesome uh, quest. Uh, basically exploring this amazing looking cave system here and um, yeah to explain everything that went on in the other part would be to basically fill this part with nothing but recap so um, uh, so if you want to know what in the world's going on you can go back to the other part uh, which should be uh on my channel, which will be on my channel, but anyway, so, uh, we, uh, between parts, we just had an amazing, uh, an amazing ride through some stupid fast rapids, and we found ourselves in this little underground lake here, uh, so, let us explore, maybe, uh, uh, I, sh I really shouldn't have stopped recording because that was an amazing ride. I must have been going 40 miles an hour. Uh, but anyway, so we are now plunging ahead in this uh, underground lake that kind of reminds me uh, of that one underground area. Uh, I forget the name of it. Where you find uh wherever you find Crimson Nern Root. I really can't remember the name of it. Uh I don't know. It, it'll pro it'll probably come to me in a second. <laughs> anyway, so I believe we should be in sneak mode now. I mean, wow, this looks insanely cool. This is easily one of the best dungeons I've ever seen in a mod. I mean, this is coming from a guy who's played Moonpath to elsewhere. I mean, and that is just an insanely good mod. It's uh, pretty much my all-time favorite mod. Uh, so where... Well, um, I'll admit, I'm not exactly clear on the way forward here. Hmm. This is strange. I wonder if... Hmm. So there's a hole. Oh, here we go. Speaking of holes... To remote island cave. Yes, please. Here we go. And it just teleported us into an entirely new cell. Ooh. This looks nice. Anyway, I don't think we should be looking at the scenery. I think we should be on the lookout for enemies. Where are you guys? What the crap is this? It's the way forward. Hmm. Yeah, I'm desperately trying not to get sucked up into all the uh, candy, and I thought I just heard a Charis. Uh. Hmm. Wait. So there's a dungeon in Skyrim with not a single enemy? Huh. Anyway, so back to Remote Island. Okay, so we're here, and what? Where? 
Where are we? 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 There's a person over there. I'm gonna try n I'm gonna try to get closer to him. Oh shit. You know what? All you've got is fists, so that's all I'm gonna have too. Fair is fair, right? Uh, just equip de equip all of my weapons. So there we go. Oh, I've still got a spell. Wow, that was easy. Um, thank you. Both fists, thank you. Ah, this is the best fist fight ever. Die, 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 Come on, die! Don't make me first or die your ass. You're gonna regret it. Damn you. Stop running away, you little chicken! Die! Want you and your imaginary friend? Damn! That was brutal! Wow. We have acquired the map from a peddler in Daggerfall. Interesting. The plant only grows on the one island and it has taken us nearly two years to track down its location. It seems to be off the no northeast coast of Skyrim towards the island of Solstheim. Even on the island it is said that only a single plant grows at a time. And no others have grown from its pollen, so must be sort of like that uh, basically network of roots they've got in Aragonia or uh, or uh, Black Marsh, as most people call it. Um, the stories have said that the Patamaic Rose, uh, not to be confused with Sanguine's Rose, which sounds far better can produce any effect the user desires and can inspire great change in any who imbue a potion made from its essence, hence the ref reference to Padome. Though only a single flower takes decades to bloom. Hm. We've set sail from Dawnstar in a rather small vessel. It's all we could afford after the tri tribulations. Apologies of the journey through Skyrim in the middle of a damn civil war. Yeah, that's typically not a very good time to go exploring somewhere, is when it's embroiled in war. We have enough supplies to last a few weeks at most. It shouldn't take us more than a couple days to reach the island if the weather stays calm. It's Skyrim, it's not going to stay calm. <laughs> uh, uh, but apparently they made it, so... Around in, cir around in circles for days on end, this, the sea is infinite, and the island is clearly a falsehood. We will die here. What a great attitude. And uh, if we are lucky, it will be sooner rather than later. The rest of the journal becomes more and more erratic and illegible. Only a few paragraphs are easily understood. We at land today after only weeks, or is it months? She seems not to notice or care. 
I do. I care. For I know, for I know where. We are here and the flower is near. I shall search myself. All she says is riddles and rants. She will be no help. Maybe I should just leave her here while I have it. Who? I cannot find it. I cannot find it. She stole away with the map like the sneak thief that she is. She won't find the flower without me, though. She has the map, but she won't be able to use it. Ha 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 She's crazy, you see, and you're not. Driven crazy and mad by the sea. Thee am glad to keep my wits and my boat, the boat to keep afloat. That's going to be a song. Hold on, let me come about the thing. The boat to keep afloat, the boat to keep afloat. Thee am glad to keep my wits and the boat to keep afloat. I don't know. <laughs> um, I obviously have to work on my singing lessons. I see her creeping around beyond the rocks, creeping and sneaking like the crazy, insane fool that she has become. I shan't speak to her anymore, not till she apologizes. Again, who on earth are we referring to? I'm gonna have to look around for this person. Hold oh, on, what? Oh, they're mud crabs, and I'm not prepared. That seems to be a recurring theme in these Skyrim playthroughs. I'm not prepared for anything. Really. So, what on earth is he talking about? Is he talking about mud crab? Because, or that thing, that's the only living thing I see around here. Come on, crab. Where are you? There you are. That one went home nicely. So what is this? A root? Mud crab is somewhere. Hello? There. Or, what is. I seriously. I mean, I know the name is Parasite, but. Like, what is it? I mean. Okay. This cool, uh, rock, o rock overhang here. I think I'm gonna name, uh, New Solitude. Because it just, all these rock overhangs that seem to be so popular in mods remind me of solitude, really. So that's new solitude. This entire island is going to be new solitude. So I still can't figure out remote island cave. Yeah, we were just in the remote island cave. Dude, if only you'd actually gone under the cave and explored it, you would have actually been in civilized territory somewhat. I'm still looking around for this person he was referring to. I don't believe I'm going to find her. It's worth a look, though. It's worth a look. Um, over here, what's that? A campfire. A boat? Oh, this must be where they uh, where they camped out. And I really could use a meal right now. I'll take that seared slaughterfish. Unusually crunchy, but tastes good. I like the taste of seared slaughter fish.
Um, okay, I seriously can't find this other person. Um, I cast Detect Life, but the way you wrote that journal, it makes me think she may be dead. Um, maybe I can, I can get a better look on the island if I climb this rock thing here. Hmm. <laughs> no? I can't get a look at it? Hmm, <laughs> darn. What was that? That's uh. Never mind. It looked like a viable option, but. Huh. Uh. Anyway, so. Uh, we've explored the entire island. There doesn't look to be a map. Fantastic. But. Hmm. So, I wish I could use this boat. It'd be really... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! Here we go! We can actually use it! What do you know? Sail to Telbronis. I really hope the winter's warmth comes with me. Or, yeah, we're back here. Okay. And, uh, looks like we're... Where's Karja? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Must have decided to teleport away. Huh. Yeah, there's the winter's warmth, all right. I could sure use some warmth. After all that stuff. What is this? Can we go up here? Can we... Um... You'd think there'd be an interior to this... house. There, there's there gotta be. There, there's got to be an interior to this castle. I'm just missing the door. And there's gotta be an interior. Technically, though, you could call these tents, uh, you know, you could still call a player home, because then you, because you've got, no, you can't, you can't sleep on the bedrolls, that sucks. But what is this? Who are you? Another Telvani retainer. Where are we again? We set off this morning in search of Tel... Telvel Aryan. Okay. I thought we sailed to Tel Bron or whatever. Oh crap, I'm encumbered now. Might as well uh, eat these useless leeks. Uh, the Alta wine, the apple pie stay though. Okay, so I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use this. So, awesome. Now, my skills are going to increase a ton of a lot faster. Uh, I seriously could have sworn up and down we sailed to Telbronis, but we sailed to Telveyron instead, or Telvil Aryan. Hmm. Strange, huh? Um, so what's this boat? Try to get up on it. Can I get up on it? 
Yeah. It's pretty much useless, but it's got a chest with 50 gold and 4 lockpicks. Good. Overall, though, we've made a loss. And we're going to need 50,000 gold to become um, owners of the mine. You know, I wonder if we can uh, fast travel to Telbranus on the winter's warmth. It's worth a look. Okay, so we've got Ajald Island, Tower of Bethams, uh, Smuggler's Meat, Dragon Guard Outpost, Secluded Isles, Eastern Islands, um, Rocky Shallows, and of course our current location. Uh, I vote we go with the Tower of Bethans. Okay, so here we are at the whoa tower. Putting the tower in tower of Bathons. So uh, we might want our bow equipped here. Frost. Let's jump over the side and explore this tower. It's going to be very interesting, I think. Tower of Bathons. Ooh. You're shitting me. There's no way. <laughs> Damn it. Wish I had more ammo. Oh! It's got an, an infinite supply. Awesome. Anyway, so. Got an interactable stone bench here. Um, or an interactive stone bench, but no entrance into the tower. Not from here. At least it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll have to do a bit of exploring. Looks like. There may be an entrance somewhere around here. There's got to be an entrance somewhere around here. Is it here? Um, no? Um... Strange! Man, I really hope there's an entrance, but it doesn't look like there's going to be. Where? Where, 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 where? That's the border of the world. Fucking border sucks. So this is an interesting location, but unfortunately you can't really do anything with it, which completely sucks. Or, I don't know, maybe, uh, nope. Ah, man, I really wanted to explore that, too. Bummer. Oh, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Cooking with fire. Cooking with fire. Tower of Bethams. Okay, a hot pool. Awesome. Okay, so this is a promising start to this dungeon. Spiral staircase. First dragon guard key. We might need that. 
Ghosts and Keys. Recover um, Amar's key at Dragon Guard Outpost. Recover Argos key to Dragon Guard Outpost. Okay. So why on earth do you have eight torches? I mean, why? I've already got enough potions of healing. Don't need that steel mace. Duras Lairvu's journal. Um, I heard yesterday that Am Amar's ship was spotted broken on the treacherous ro uh, rocks of the shallows east of here. Just wanted to see if there's another page. I always warned him that placing speed over caution would end badly at sea. With Argoth missing nearly 30 days now, I have little hope of his return either. Looks like I'm the only one left of the old crew. I'll have to collect their keys at some stage. The next time I need to raise some money by selling off more of that old Akaviri equipment from the Dragon Guard outpost. Not now, though. I have work to do. Lorber's Ur. <laughs> Lorber's Ur. We'll take care of the crew while I'm busy here. The Dwimmer's... Oh, never mind. The Dwimmer's methods of using water and steam to power these machines is quite ingenious. So much so that even I can't quite fathom how they do it. I'm hopeful, though. If I can solve the mysteries of this place, I think I can make some, make some use of this technology on the ship. Using the water to somehow provide propulsion for the ship would revolutionize everything. No, no more reliance on wind and weather. Kind of like a, kind of like a jet, a jet ski sort of does. We would never go hungry again. I have to work carefully though. If I did, if I serve the machines too much, well, let's just say I have seen what dwarven constructs can do to an elf. And there's a quill and inkwell. Rune book, Dwimmer history and culture. Ah, oh, really wish I had space in my inventory. Ooh, 61 gold. Take that, and the four lock picks, and I really don't have any use for the ebony ingot right now. Uh, so I won't take it. There's got to be more to this. Stone bed, an empty barrel, a chair. This is like the best study in the world. I mean, seriously, look at this. Anyway, is this it? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, hold on. I just wanted to check. Make sure I've gotten everything that I absolutely need off of that table. Yeah, I have. So, mm. this should not have been it. It's kind of, oh, never mind. Ooh, a dwarven sword. Too bad it weighs 12 pounds. And uh, some sacks. A large sack with some food. Cabbage, yeah. I don't want any cabbage. Cabbage sucks. So, Ghost and Keys. Recover Argos key to Dragon Guard Outpost. Hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a way forward. But, I just, I. I feel like there's going to be something else at this location that we need to check out. I feel like there's going to be another interior that may contain a dungeon. So, uh, yeah. I think so. There's got to be another interior. 
mean, there's there's just got to be somewhere here. What's this? Can I go under there? Uh. Mmm. Nothing. Nothing so far. Ah, oh, man. Uh, there's just got to be. I feel like there has to be something else. I mean, it's just. I feel it like in my bones. That doesn't work. Somehow got itself broken. Hmm. There's got to be something else that I'm missing. Ah. This is so frustrating. And I've got myself stuck in a hole. Amazing. Can I get out sideways? There we go. Uh Oh man. That really sucks. There should there should have been another interior here. Anyway, so uh I guess I'll call it a I guess I'll call it a part here. Um so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the two parts that I filmed today. Um feel free to leave a like, a um, a comment, a uh, favorite, if you enjoyed this video, and, um, as always, don't forget to stop by the mods page on the Skyrim Nexus, uh, link will be in the description as usual, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna go explore around here, I think there could be something around the other side, could there possibly be something on the other side? Uh, but, anyway. So, yeah. E even if there is something on the other side, which there's not. Um, I'm going to end off the video here. Uh, yeah, like I said, feel free to leave a like, a favorite, a subscribe. Um, the uh, link, the, uh, link to the mod will be... In the description on the Skyrim Nexus, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that this mod includes all original voice acting, uh, which is pretty amazing. I really doubt if we've heard most of the voice actors, or the most of the voice acting lines in the mod so far, but anyway, so, yeah, um, GP75... Out. I'll see you in the next part.